The rock types present below an area have a major influence determining the suitability of a site to host a geological disposal facility or a GDF. The host rocks in which a GDF will be constructed need to have little or no groundwater movement through them. They need also to have properties that allow for the construction of tunnels and caverns. And they need to provide a stable environment over the long lifetime of a GDF. Based on work in the UK and overseas, we have identified three broad types of host rock. The first of these are called higher strength rocks, like these beautiful 600 million year old fractured volcanic rocks in this abandoned quarry. Secondly, lower strength sedimentary rocks, like the mudstones that you see in these coastal cliffs. And thirdly, evaporites, like the rock salt you see being mined here to spread on the road in winter. Now, the rocks that surround and cover a host rock are also potentially an important part of the geological barrier separating a GDF from the surface. And the nature of these cover rocks can make a significant contribution to the safety of a potential GDF site. For example, where clay-rich mudstone rocks overlie a host rock, they separate deep groundwaters from the surface and they can slow down the movement of radioactive material away from the GDF should any be released over the thousands of years during which it would need to provide containment.